Thank you to ViaBTC.com for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, Red Pet Wedding here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. If you've stumbled upon this video, this is a specific video explaining how I power my mining rigs and as well, I want to explain which mining pool that I will be mining this new What's Miner M60S. This is the next generation of Bitcoin ASIC miners that have just come out and this one here that I have is one of the most efficient ASIC miners out today, especially heading into 2024 and as well as before the halving. All right, so those are things to consider. If you are wanting to get into Bitcoin mining and you are wanting to do it as a residential miner, there are a few things to consider. And the biggest one is gonna be your electrical cost. If you go on certain calculator websites such as mindtheasic.com or maybe ASIC miner value, you can generally punch in your electrical cost and see how much you are making in terms of profit against the cost per kilowatt hour. And just being frank with a lot of people here that are gonna watch this video, anyone above 10, maybe, I don't know, at most 11, 12 cents. Personally, I probably wouldn't really mine Bitcoin at home because at that point you can get your Bitcoin miners hosted at a lower electrical cost. And then you don't have to worry about the heat and the noise and whatnot. So a few places I recommend are like terrahosting.io or Decentral up in Canada. I'll have a few options linked down below, which I personally have stuff hosted at both of those locations. So link down below if you guys wanna check them out. But for anyone that wants to get into Bitcoin mining at home, let me explain how I power them, okay? So there's a few different things needed if you want a Bitcoin mine at home is going to be your electrical infrastructure. So in my case here, and this is not electrical advice, but this is how I power my ASIC miners at home, you're gonna wanna get a 240 volt 30 amp circuit from your circuit panels here. I have a Siemens 240 volt 30 amp breaker here. Actually, I got multiple because I run you know, multiple circuits at home. I have a bunch of machines here on a 200 amp, actually 400 amp service, uh, but I do have other stuff here. But as well, the gauge that I'm using, I have here is 10 gauge, okay, 10 two gauge wiring that is going to each one of these circuits here and going to various uh, places where I am mining, such as like I have my GPU rigs here. I have a 240 volt 30 amp for my network setup as well. And so some people may be asking, Red Panda, what about this type of plug? The NEMA 15 plug here, which is very popular in North America, okay? But the biggest issue with running ASIC miners on these is that, well, first you can't because the power consumption for most of these big boy ASICs are gonna be over, you know, 3,000 watts and a, a typical outlet like this at home in North America this is on 120 volt and max wattage that you're gonna be able to go up or amps is gonna be max like 15 amps or like 1800 watts okay but 80% rule uh, maybe about you know 14 to 1500 watts that you can max go on an outlet like this but for mining I do not recommend mining on 120 volt because the gauge is just it's just too small and it's not meant for 24 7 operation unlike more thicker gauged wiring like the 240 volt 30 amp circuit here that goes into an L630R which the max power consumption that you can do on this type of outlet is going to be up to 7200 watts. Okay that's at 100% though but again 80% rule similar that we talked about with the 120 volt outlet is going to be around 57, 5600 watts on 240 volt 30 amp circuit. So realistically you can only put maybe one of these big boy ASICs on a 240 volt circuit like this but on all alternative that some people do is to install an 8 gauge wire instead of a 10 gauge wire so that you can in theory go much higher than the 80% rule on a 240 volt 30 amp but that is not electrical advice and then I have a 240 volt PDU okay which I bought these on Alibaba Okay, I'll show on the, on the screen here. There's a lot of people asking, Red Panda, where did you buy these? And I bought these on Al Alibaba. Okay, they're about $60 to $80, maybe $100 with shipping and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so far I, I really do like these. I had no issues thus far, and that does have a little watt meter as well for power. Uh, in case anyone wants to, wondering about this red box, this is the meterbox.com, which they're gonna have a giveaway for the month of December. So check back soon for that, I'll be announcing. And so the PDU end here is an L630P, which goes into an L630R 
uh, like so, okay? And it's locking as well, so it doesn't, you know, come loose. And then the power cable, all right? So this What's Miner M60S specifically did come with a C19 to C20 cable here, okay? And my PDU does have three of those outlets, so I'm able to power that in. And this is a 12 gauge cable. And if you, for instance, buy an ASIC miner, which thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for this What's Miner M60S, go check them out, guys, if you're interested in buying one of these or any other ASICs, link down below. I personally purchase a lot of my PDU cables from infinitecables.com. I would say most notably, the the most popular ASIC minor power cables are going to be the C13 to C14. These are 14 gauge power cables that go into these parts here. And there are some Bitcoin ASICs out there that utilize that plug instead of the, you know, C19, C20. So next you're going to want to figure out Ethernet. Okay, you do need internet for these Bitcoin miners as they don't have Wi-Fi. Okay, so it has to be hardwired. All right, internet for the machine as well. And another thing also really important to consider is where you're gonna be placing one of these Bitcoin miners because they are really loud and they do produce a lot of heat. So in my case here, I have a few ASICs at home. Okay, this is my house, but I have like an industrial metal shelf here. I got a lot of PDUs here, as you can see, and I have a network switch because I plan on having obviously more miners here. And you can see my ASIC miners are just like this. But the biggest thing is the environment, right? So I do have a 18 or 22 inch exhaust fan here that just goes out the window. It fits perfect where I have this. And this is ideal for me in my environment here for my ASICs. And you can see here, my temperature right now is around 70 Fahrenheit, but honestly, I don't have that much going on here. And my exhaust fan is at low power at the moment. So another thing to consider, you do need to invest a good amount to have infrastructure, uh, you know, shelf and exhaust fans. You gotta consider all that stuff, running the power uh, to wherever you're gonna wanna do that. Again, make sure you have a certified electrician uh, to do something like that. So there you guys go. Once you have your infrastructure set up, your power, your electrical, you got ethernet, you can now turn on one of these What's Miner M60Ss or any Bitcoin ASIC miner or any ASIC miner for that matter that you wanna plug in. So let's turn this on and then we are going to remote into it and set it up. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Okay, here we guys go. We're gonna plug this in and it's gonna start getting real loud. You guys can hear that. It's very, very loud, very loud. It starts off loud and then goes quiet because it's loading and then once it starts mining, it becomes very loud. These are 140 mil fans. Okay, I will see you guys in the computer. We will set this all up to mine. Okay, now the next steps is to setting up your Bitcoin miner is to get the IP address. There are two different methods here. You can either log into your home router, if you're comfortable with that, and getting the DHCP address uh, for the ASIC miner that way. Alternatively, you can install something called Advanced IP Scanner. This is a freeware software you can install on your computer and then you can grab the IP that way. Hit scan and it should you know, auto-populate your subnet and it'll grab the IP address that way. So once you have that, then you're gonna wanna paste that IP address into the browser, okay? Any web browser and so that you can simply access it like this. You're gonna be presented with the home page, all right, for logging into it. So in my case, my What's Miner is admin stock admin password and then the password is admin as well okay uh the ant miner you know asic miners are usually root and then root and uh, ice rivers are going to be admin and then password is one through eight one two three four five six seven eight but anyways we're going to log in then we're going to want to set up the miner configuration okay so it's going to be popular for most of the asic miners out there so we're going to go configuration miner config and this is where we need to set up our mining pool and also the worker name and the mining pool. Uh, either it's going to be a Bitcoin address or an account name. And so we're going to be mining to via btc.com. I'm going to show you guys how to set up and all that stuff through here. I am personally using via BTC because I have multiple, multiple ASICs, different types of ASICs that can all be joined on the same mining pool central platform where I can easily see all of my ASICs here 
uh, which is really helpful. So I'm going to explain that as we go along here. So before we add in the mining pools and the worker names and all that kind of stuff here, you're going to want to set up on VIPTC.com. And so link down below, if you guys would like to sign up here, you just have to sign up your email and then you'll have to click on get code and you're going to have to enter that verification code in that you got in your email. And so once you sign in and log in and all that kind of stuff, you're going to be presented with the website via btc.com so you're going to see pool assets finance resources tools blog and much more which i'll talk about in a sec but anyways so beginning on now connecting your bitcoin asic okay so now that you've gotten your account I've, my account here is called rpm 2023 all right and the pool okay so once you click on pool or not assets i'll explain that in a second but pool is where you can then click on BTC or smart mining. There's two different types of BTC mining here. Uh, smart mining is the auto conversion to BTC for BCH. You know, it, it sometimes mines BCH for some time uh, if it's more profitable than BTC. And sometimes in some cases, it looks like B BCH was 75% more profitable than BTC mining over the past day here. So that's pretty interesting to think about. But you know, most people are mining for BTC. You can you can do it that way. So in this example, I'm going to show you guys is BTC mining. Now, once you go here, you're going to scroll down. You're going to want to get the stratum URL. OK, this is very important to be mining to via BTC. OK, if you're doing this. And so you just click the copy button. Very simple. You're going to go back to your ASIC miner here and you're going to paste that in. So in my case, it's custom. And then we're going to copy that in which uh, i already have actually so <laughs> yeah that's it so save that there now you're going to want to add the account name and then period and then a worker name of your choice so in my case my account name that i made is called rpm 2023 and so whatever account you guys made is going to be the one that you're going to be putting into the account name under pool worker okay and then period and then any worker name that you like m60s01 this is what shows up on my mining pool on the workers tab so you can see that right here we've been mining you know for a bit here as you guys saw this miner earlier on the table and it's going really good i i love it i love it next you're going to want to put password x you can put anything but normally x and then also you're going to want to populate pool two and pool three for the backup servers okay um, this is where under dashboard, you can see the other mining URLs are going to be port 25 and 443, uh, just like how I have it here, 25 and uh, 443. So make sure you enter that in, enter the same, you know, account name plus worker uh, period worker name for all three and password X for all three. Then you're going to want to hit save and apply and it's going to start mining and that's it very easy so that's the end of the portion of how to set up your bitcoin asic miner to mine to a mining pool such as via btc of course there are many many other bitcoin mining pools out there okay so make sure you do your own research as well once you get a bitcoin wallet you know my you know suggestion is to you know play around with the bitcoin core wallet because you can get the wallet address as well or alternatively you get like a hardware wallet like a trezor or maybe an Ellie pal, which is air gapped. Okay. And what that means is a cold wall that is hundred percent isolated from the internet. It is fully protected from unauthorized access, cyber hacks, malware, or any online threats. So maybe an Ellie pal might be a solution for you, but do your own research. Okay. Many ways. I like the Bitcoin core way. And then having like your own laptop that you do nothing else, but this, okay. Totally separate. Anyways, going back to via BTC, I want to sh showcase some examples here of the features on their website which is quite amazing that makes via btc.com like one of my favorites not just because i'm sponsored by them in this video but i am actually using them for all of my hosted uh, asic miners like i have an l7 i got e9 pros i got uh, k7s for ckb i got caspa miners and of course i have btc asics right and so what the powerful thing with that is just you can see a lot of your ASIC miners on this list for those if you have different types of ASICs. That's what I find really powerful. But the workers tab here, very simple. You can see all the different workers here, earnings, and you can see how much you know Bitcoin you've earned uh, as you go along here. This is just an example account here. But now going to assets. OK, this is one that I find to be pretty really good here this is where you can see all of the income that you're mining for all your different asic miners that you have on via btc or just for bitcoin in general 
But another strong thing I like, the biggest feature I like is the convert. So if you click on that, you can see here, there's a way to convert your earnings into USDT. Or if you had uh, LTC and you wanted to go to Bitcoin, you can do that as well on uh, via BTC.com. But here's the kicker that I really, really, truly like about this is that there's automatic uh, conversion. And this is actually what I've been doing on most of my ASICs right now into BTC. So you can choose this uh, either to USDT or to BTC. And uh, you can either turn it off as well for each one uh, if you wanted to or vice versa. You know, you can change it around for any of these types of coins that are on uh, via the BTC right now. OK, so I thought this is pretty cool. And there are a bunch of other features as well. Um, you can check it out on resources tab, uh, tools under the blog and also more. I really like their statistics page here where you can see a lot of the blocks or see how much luck is on the mining pool as well for BTC or uh, really any other other algorithm other coin on their mining pools here which is really cool anyways guys that is it for this video let me know what you think thank you guys for watching thank you to viabtc.com for sponsoring today's video hopefully this video has helped you set up your bitcoin miners as well as the power infrastructure as uh, that's pretty important uh, before you get into Bitcoin mining at home, especially. But that concludes today's video. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Let me know your thoughts. Links down below to everything we've talked about today. Have a good one and peace out.